Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to learn about how to use Adobe Illustrator either CS6 or CC or whatever version you have so I know out there you guys probably some of you might be intimidated by the use of Adobe Illustrator or any design software but don't be it is easier than using PowerPoint for your project which is shame on you if you're still using PowerPoint but today we are only gonna cover uh, the basic stuff which is which uh, is the tool that you are going to use throughout every project that you are going to make either a simple project or a complex project but the basic is still the same either you on CS6 or CC so without further ado let's jump in into the program open up load up your program I'm using Illustrator CC 2019 for this uh, tutorial purposes but the guide remain the same whether which version you have so don't be scared just follow along and you'll get there eventually so we already loaded up our uh, Illustrator and the first thing you want to make is to go to file menu okay this a new window of new document will pop up this is where you set your workspace size what is workspace size is the size of your canvas confusing don't be so just put for these purposes we are just going to use an A4 size workspace uh, which is in Photoshop already have in CSC you're gonna have a uh, profile detail which you can choose from the list of drop down menu and for this CC version just click A4 put the name of it vector test and you can change any value you want the width the height or the orientation itself so here you have a measure measuring value whichever you like millimeter centimeter point if you so technical so this is just a simple that cover up setting up your workspace so once we're done with this we are satisfied with our size and all click create and wait for it to load up first okay so once loaded up what i meant by workspace is this white rectangle on your screen so the next step is to familiarize yourself with the tool within Adobe Illustrator. Yeah, in this uh, software, it can be divided into three parts, which is the first left hand side is the tool. This is most probably the most, uh, the you are going to use this a lot. Trust me, this is the tool panel where you can modify just whatever you want. And the center part is your workspace and the left uh, the right hand side is the properties of your artwork so let's cover the basic okay next we are going to make your vector for the purpose of uh, example I'm just going to make a simple square uh, rectangle if you may so next what I'm going to teach you about the selection differences as you can see in your tool panel there are two types of selection the first one is the selection tool this is the tool that you use to move your art around whereas the direct selection tool you can still move them around but if you click at the end of the point you can move them around okay so this is what vector look like compared to an image an image once you resize the pictures the pixel will break but for vector no matter the size that you make the art is not going to become pixelated or pecah okay so let's cover the basic and then we are going to move to group and ungroup 
object so let's say you have a few different type of object on your screen few type of vectors to oops okay let's say you want to move them together without having to select all just select them all once right click and group okay once you've done that the next time you click the object and you want to move just simply work like charm just like advertise so is what group mean is that it group your object together and that's about it okay let's say you don't want to group them together anymore you want to change them there are two way to go about this either either you double click on the group itself which transfer you into the group layer so you can move them individually and if you want to go out just go to the any blank space double click again and then voila you're done or you don't want to group them together and you don't want to double click anymore just right click and ungroup simple as that okay that's about it so next is positioning of your object okay if you don't know how to use the layer okay let's save layer for another video okay let's say you want to work with only one layer so let's say we want to put this at the back of this black object so simply go to right click the object transform or arrange sorry arrange or bring backward it doesn't work because this is the third object so it is just behind this object not the black the black one is the first so you have to go again and arrange send it backward one more time okay simple as that the same thing if you want to put it in front again send object to the front okay so that's it the difference in front and forward is that forward only bring up one level the same with send backward it only goes down one level but back send it all the way down to the canvas and front all the way up the canvas okay make sense is it right so that is the arrangement of your object within ai next is layering layering with work the same as uh, the layering work the same as uh, arranging the position of your object but what layer mean is that if you have an object in the other layer it will not intersect with the object in the previous layer sound confusing well don't be i'm going to explain it in the next video and be sure to tune in when it came out okay so last but not least is we are going to export or save this image easy go to file there are two way we, you can go about this which is number one is to save it as ai file and the second one is to export it as an image which is you can use it in a photoshop that you love so much so the first way is to save as this save the file as ai the, uh, the, you cannot use this in other uh, software except for illustrator only so the second way is to export this into a working image which you can either change into a jpeg or you can go for png okay if you tick the use art board the image will take the whole workspace that you have this is the workspace and if you untick the uh, use art board it will only take the outbound boundary of all your object grouped together that's the simplest term that i can give you guys without confusing too much so well that's it 
Good job, you already master how to use Adobe Illustrator at the basic level. So if you want, if you guys want more content about Illustrator, I'm going to post a lot more video on how to use it, how to use all the different tools available in the next video. Okay, so stay tuned and be sure to hit the like and share button and turn on your notifications so you won't miss on the other video that I'm going to upload. Okay, my name is Nick Helmi and see you guys later. Bye.